Hey guys, Susie here, and I hope you're doing well. Um, in this current time where we're facing some uncertain situations, um, I feel called that we all have talents to help each other. And my talent that I've been doing for the last couple of years is helping you guys grow and start your blogs. So you might be wondering, is this still a good time to start my blog? Is Are there good topics to blog about? So I wanna be here and encourage you that yes, it is. Um, pretty much the entire world is online right now. The internet traffic to websites that can help you on specific things that people have, and I'll cover a couple of topics, are huge. So I have a list of 24 niches that can do well in times like these when the economy might not be doing the best. But there are going to be some parts that do really well, and that's where you can come in and you can help people. When we go through new opportunities in uncertain times, there's a lot of problems, right? So a lot of things come up. But if you look at the positive side, there's a lot of ways that we can help people. There's a lot of opportunities. There's a lot of ways that you can share your talents and help other people. So for example, um, I have over 50,000 students that I have helped to grow and st to start and grow their blogs. And my homeschooling and kids activities moms are doing so well right now. Like, honestly, to be, to be completely honest, I always looked at homeschooling moms. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I, I don't know if I'll ever do that. Um, that's, that might, maybe, maybe not. Now I have to. <laughs> and a lot of us do. And a lot of us might fall in love with it and actually do it for much longer. So on Monday, we're starting our first day of homeschooling. Um, I bought some unicorn uniforms <laughs> for the girls. So I'm trying to make the best of the situation that we're going through and being uplifting and um, an encouraging mom. And I want you guys to be the same, same way. So as a mom, we are going through a time too. And I encourage you to start a blog. So you start learning these digital online skills. So you start learning how to create websites. So you start learning how to go live on Facebook or write blog posts or get better with your online skills, because you never know, even if you just start a little blog, the blog can turn into a full-time business, which has been happened for a lot of my students. And they are actually now relying on their blog income to support them or you can start that blog and that will teach you a ton of digital skills that then you can use to apply for different jobs or to use as a virtual assistant or a consultant. So don't think that just starting your blog is just, okay, I'm just going to blog. I'm just going to write blog posts. You're going to be learning a plethora of skills that's going to help you in the future. And as you can see, a lot of things are turning to the digital world because we can still connect and be with each other virtually. All right. So I have a list of 24 niches that you can download and go through and that can help you start your blog. So, you know, you're talking about the right things and you're going into a right niche that will be trending upwards coming up. Um, but five that I want to cover right now and, um, to give you somewhat of a taste and give you some ideas of what you can blog about is number one, DIY self-care. So I remember back when I was a high school student or college student, I would try to make my own hair masks, face masks. I would do my own manicures, um, even cut my own hair. Guys, that's coming back. People want to, obviously we're staying at home. Um, people won't be spending that much money on services outside of their house. So they're going to start DIYing everything themselves. So if you have skills, even if you want to niche down to one of those, like DIY haircuts or DIY skincare, that is something that's going to be trending up. Um, I was at Target getting some groceries and some um, essential products. So, and I saw around the hair color section um, aisle in Target. They were like, I know we were not supposed to congregate, but there were a lot of people there trying to choose the right hair color that they're about to go home and like dye their hair. And I'm all for that. Like we're here, we're doing stuff from home now. Okay, so that's one DIY self-care. Number two, home gyms. Guys, people aren't going to gyms anymore. Um, so I'm trying to be very uplifting, but there are a lot of opportunities where we can help people virtually online and we don't have to be with them physically. So online workouts, online meal plans, how do you get people to still stay active when they're at home? Okay. Then number three, home repair. We're instead of just throwing away something that might not be working, we're going to go back and try to fix it ourselves try to um, upcycle it, try to reuse it. 
So home repairs, if you, if your husband's really handy, why don't you start like a home repair channel and help other people so that they don't have to spend too much money outside of their house. Number four, kids activities. We are all, if you're a mom here and you have little kids, we're all just Googling, what can I do with my kids when they're at home? <laughs> how can I make this a wonderful staycation for my children and how can I keep them engaged and educated with awesome indoor or at home kids activities? And on that same kind of line, homeschooling, as I mentioned before, that's doing really well. A lot of people are searching for homeschooling. I know some of my homeschooling mamas, their traffic is surging. And then lastly, um, audio and video conferencing. So a lot of companies will start moving to having more of an online work at home workforce. So if you're really good with online conferencing or managing how to do Zoom meetings, if you can help people or even be a virtual assistant or a consultant to small businesses to help them move from more of the physical um, workforce to an online workforce. Maybe that you can be that person that helps transition them. That can be a fantastic skill that you're learning or helping other people with as well. So your blog can showcase your skills. You'll be blogging about how to do um, the things that you want to help people with. You can have a work with me page so people can reach out to you. There's multiple ways that your blog can showcase your skills and people can reach out to you and you can grow your online income as you're working from home. All right. So if you want the list of all the niches that could do well when the economy is not doing that well, download it below. There's a, um, there's a link so you can get it right away. Also, if you haven't started your blog yet, right now is a really good time, guys. Everybody's online. Like we're all looking for things that we can do from home, from the internet, where we can make a little bit of money. Um, if you guys want to read this testimonials of my students, some of them have reached up to $20,000 per month. They're doing fantastic. They have online assets now that they can continue selling. Some of my students were just told me that their blog is their only source of income right now. So having your online presence, starting your blog and your website, showcasing your skills is very valuable. And I want to encourage you to do this and to show your kids that as they're learning now from home, you're learning from home too. If you need any resources, I have tons of courses free and um, for very affordable price down below. I have tons of students. If you need any help, leave a comment, let me know how you're doing and I'm here to help you. All right, see you soon.